Good morning. Welcome back to the Pantry Prepper. It's Amanda. Y'all, I hope you're having an awesome day. I wanted to show you um, a link above the video I did yesterday about cleaning out my pantry. I'm organizing it and using stuff. And I was showing you how I was making a chicken, chicken and dumplings. And actually what I'm going to show you now is how this can be a really cheap meal. It's a real good comfort meal, I think. It's just very filling. I kind of cheat. Um, I don't use homemade noodles. I could, but I prefer something else. Basically, I cooked the chicken until it was pretty much falling apart. And then all I have left is the broth in it. And then I add my noodles to it. And it will cook until it's actually... These noodles right here are like... They will turn into almost to dumplings. Some people call them chicken noodles. Some people call them chicken dumplings. Um, I guess it depends on what part of the country you're from. But anyway, that's what I'm doing. And this is actually going to be a two or three... I can get two or three meals out of this one chicken... And a pack of noodles. And these are the pack of noodles that I use. Y'all, they've gone up in price. I remember when they were 99 cents. These are almost two bucks at Walmart or any place else. But they are my favorite for a, if I don't want to make them myself, which I really need to do that. But anyway, I find these easier to store. Yeah. So anyway, um, I have this chicken. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cook this up. I'll show you at the end what it looks like. Um, how most of my family likes eating it plain. Well, the kids do. The kids are adults, by the way. Um, they like eating it plain. And my husband, if any of you watched my videos before, he hates chicken. He absolutely hates chicken. But chicken's a cheaper meal. And when we have something like this, he'll eat the noodles as long as I don't put that in it. So this will be like a two-meal dinner. And then what I'm going to do is take this chicken. I'm going to totally debone it and freeze it. Well, I'm going to add chicken to my noodles because I like it with mine. Nobody else does. Crazy, y'all, ain't it? But I'm going to take this. I'm going to debone it completely. Let it cool. Put it in the... Well, I'm going to cool, debone it, um, put it in the freezer, and I'm also going to save the carcass. So, actually, y'all, I'm going to get three meals out of this one chicken. I'm getting a pot of noodles here, like I said, or dumplings. This is going to last about two night, nights when I add a vegetable to go with it. I think I need to turn that down because... By the way, these will swell up. Okay, um... I'll get two meals out of that with the vegetable. And then I have this actual chicken itself. I can tear it apart. It's a large chicken. I can make tacos out of it. I can make a casserole out of it. I can add it to a salad. I can do all kinds of things to it. I can make, tear it up and put barbecue sauce on it, make barbecue sandwiches. That's what I'll do with the chicken. And then I will take the actual carcass itself. I'm trying to find a piece of a bone like here. This is the... um. Yeah, when I cook it, I cook it till it falls apart. I will have the bones left, and I will save those, put them in the freezer, and make a broth out of it like I did in the other video. So let me go ahead and get this done cooking and this to bone, and I'll come back and I'll show you what this looks like. How much do I have in this meal? The chicken was 5 bucks. The noodles were 2 That's $7. And then I'm going to get at least, I'm going to say I'm going to get at least four meals out of that. Two out of this pot. And two out of that. So that's four into five. You know, that's like a buck and a quarter a day to feed four people. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. It's definitely a way to make something stretch when money's tight and you're just you're just trying to stretch your food, y'all. Make it go as long as you can. And we all know we need to, I need I need to get back in that practice. I got lazy, but can't get lazy no more. Too much uncertainty going around. So yeah, so let me go ahead and get all of this cooked up. I'll show you what this looks like in the end. And again, I'm using these noodles right here. And I'll come back and show you how I put this. Um, this is I'm going to put this up and prepare it for future use. Hi, right, guys. So I want to show you the finished product right here. This is the chicken noodles after it's completely cooked. I cooked them for a while and then I turned them off. Let me just show you what this looks like. These are like extremely thick noodles. I'm not sure if you can tell, but, you know, they look like clear noodles to begin with, but this is what it is right here. It's really good. And actually, I had a lot more, but my um, daughter that's married came over and she picked up and some, took some home with her. But here's what it looks like with the chicken in it. Add a little pepper to mine. Y'all, this stuff is so amazing. And it's it, to me, it's like good, simple comfort food. It needs salt. And there's something else that I add to it. This stuff right here is really amazing on it. Um, 
or you can make up your own but this is what i just buy this this is really good on it now to show you what i ended up with this is the carcass i know i keep saying carcass bones carcass don't sound good but these are the bones that were left from the chicken i'll take this and i'll put it in the freezer so when i get one or two more chickens i cooked up and stuff i will be able to make more broth and here's all this chicken like i said nobody eats it eats chicken in their noodles except for me so i've got all this chicken left that I can put in a casserole, I can put it in barbecue, I can put it in a salad. Um, well, however you think to use chicken, you can do that. So anyway, so this meal, basically, I'm going to say it cost me, like I said, the chicken was five. The chicken was five, noodles were two. I used actually two and a half packs of noodles. So that was roughly seven, about, we'll say about eight dollars, maybe about eight dollars. And, but you divide that the way you do it, it came out to a really good price for everybody for two days and the amount of people it feeds. It, it works really well. Plus you add a vegetable to it. I didn't count that in. So anyway, you guys, if you've never tried this, this stuff is like comfort food to the max. Yeah, I mm, yeah, this is good. Anyway, and all I did add to it was onions because that's just all I want to it. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a blessed day. I hope this encourages you encourages you to get out and try to make your food stretch as much as you can and not to waste anything. Definitely the battle cry of 2020 when it comes to our pantries. Do not waste anything. Use everything that you have. That's mine. Anyway, thank you so much for stopping by the Pantry Prepper. Remember, as always, food storage. Doesn't matter how you get it, when you get it, where you get it. Just get it for uncertain times because we're there. Y'all, I'm hungry. Thanks for stopping by. God bless.